What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Spider-Man No Way Home leaks that were so bad that the person admitted that they uh, made it up. So there's actually quite a few things going on with the leaks of Spider-Man No Way Home. I want to, well, firstly, I want to read out what this guy uh, originally had said, okay? And, and, and a lot of it, some of it, I guess, was believable. Some of it was absolutely uh, not believable. And it became a thing that was really spread around the internet. And the person who was responsible for spreading it, they took it down. They apologized for kind of giving that kind of uh, credibility. And then the person that originally came up with that leak, you know, came out and said that they were just messing around, that that wasn't actually true. Now, this got me on a wild goose chase to, number one, find the original shots. Now, I didn't, or uh, maybe I'm showing it to you guys, maybe I'm not. I did technically find them uh, it, kind of a, a little confusing, but then I also found some other leaks. And so I want to go over leaks in general for this movie. So, if you guys are new here, make sure, as always, you're subscribed. Make sure you guys have the bell icon turned on so you know all these videos go up. And all the stuff started over on Twitter uh, in an amazing place in some ways, a terrible, terrible place in other ways. But I am on Twitter. Podcast now 15 is my Twitter handle. If you guys want to follow me over there, the link's in the description, or you can just look me up on Twitter. We're pushing really hard for 2,000 followers, and we're getting very, very close. We're around 80 away right now. So I could really use your guys' help if you haven't already followed me over there. And again, obviously, if you want to support me anywhere else, that is, uh, that's absolutely awesome. Okay, so this leak, uh, let's just read it. You know, I'll read through it again. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get pictures for you guys because it's kind of hard uh, to find them. The film begins where uh, Far From Home ended with the army and police chasing Peter and MJ. Aunt May and Happy are arrested by the police. Ned hides the iron spider suit in his refrigerator. And that's the first uh, kind of red flag, J uh, in my opinion. Jamie Foxx is a new version of Matt Dillon working on Hammer Industries. And basically, they're going to be hinting that he will be Electro in the future, but he's going to be this universe's version of Electro, not uh, the you know the Andrew Garfield one. The villain is Craven the Hunter, played by an action movie expert actor, uh, which is speculated to be Gerard Butler. Again, that was kind of a funny one. Now, I can never say his name, but Alfred and then however you want to say his last name, Doc Ock in uh, you know, Spider-Man 2, plays Senator Robert Kelly, the main opponent of beings with superpowers in Marvel. So he's just playing a different role. Jimmy Woo appears in the film, helping Peter hide and escape on Nick Fury's orders. This would be the connection with WandaVision. Spider-Man will have a new costume at the end of the movie. Charlie Cox plays Matt Murdock, appearing as Peter's lawyer, and fights alongside him wearing a jacket to cover his face, as seen in The Defenders. He doesn't wear the Daredevil suit. An astral version of Doctor Strange will guide Peter throughout the film. Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and Emma Stone will not be in the movie. Peter will be an MIT student at the end of the film and will live alone in a small apartment. Oscorp will finally be introduced into the MCU. Mysterio is still alive. The ground will be left ready for the arrival of the Sinister Six. Okay, so that was that. And, you know, there are some things there that I do think are possible. I th and, and, and by the way, again, like we all know now that he completely made it up. So how did he make it up? Well, we know things like Craven the Hunter is somebody that they've uh, they've discussed or they've said even publicly that they do want to find a way to get him into this movie relatively soon. Obviously, he guesses on on the Andrew Garfield and, and Tobey Maguire stuff. Some of the other stuff, you know, the actors that we've already we pretty much confirmed that they were on set. He has connected them to, well, they're playing basically even just different roles altogether, but they are going to be in this movie. So, I mean, the point being, some of this stuff is cool. It's funny, the, the like the hiding the iron spider in the refrigerator. Some of that stuff is downright uh, ridiculous. I... I, I really, you know, even when I read that, I did say out loud, like, that part to me stands out. Uh, my friend was talking to me about it uh, last night, and we said, and he asked me, he's like, you don't believe it, right? I'm like, no, I don't believe it. I think some of these things will probably, some of them will probably happen, and they will just be guesses, okay? Uh, and that's kind of, and I've said this before with gaming leaks and all that stuff, that, like, hey, you throw, it's different th than me, too, and I've said that before as well. Like, these guys are supposedly credible leakers, right? So when they throw 30 things against the wall and 
five things stick by accident, well, that doesn't make them a good leaker. You know what I mean? They just, literally, they just guess, and they got some of the things right, and that doesn't mean literally anything, right? They probably end up getting featured on, like, We Got This Covered or something, okay? So, again, like, when I was g going to look for this, okay, now I found these pictures in a YouTube video of somebody else's, okay? So I, again, like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the screenshots for you guys. I'm trying to find, like, probably right after I record this, I'm going to try and find the individual things. I should have taken screenshots of it. I should have figured that they would have probably been taken down. But let me say this. On my hunt to find these again, okay, I did find other ones that also mentioned Daredevil, that also mentioned the same thing with the Robert Kelly, like the Senator, um, and a couple other things as well, okay? So what seems... To, and, and But that one said that they didn't know if if the three, Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and uh, Emma Stone are going to be in the movie. So the, the rumor mill is, is very, like, high, okay? And I honestly wouldn't even say rumor mill because I think there's a difference between inside like quote-unquote insiders that I guess we recognize as people that, that that know what they're talking about with that even being said there were some people that were quote-unquote inside some big ones some actually and I won't say their names but one in particular that I'm thinking of and maybe you guys will know a big insider I like him I follow him uh, you know I respect him but he got a lot of people very very hyped up for quite a few different things in WandaVision and none of it happened so kind of disappointing I think he kind of let his uh, which is okay he let his personal emotions kind of come out but when you are regarded as a leaker you probably uh you know shouldn't do that but there's a difference between people like him or just general you know insiders in general and then people that post on reddit and 4chan and and you can tell by the way because as I've always said especially for games they just copy other people's info so like when I went on uh, you know Twitter to try and find the, these pictures I ended up finding somebody who posted something from 4chan and I would say 70% of it was copying what I just read out for you okay so they copied most of it and then the other 20 30 percent they made up their own stuff which is generally how it and I've said this for uh, almost, I would say over a year at this point right that's generally how it works is they kind of just add on to whatever came before it and I guess they're praying that the thing that came before is actually true. They also could very just well be trolling. They just kind of want uh, attention, which is funny because I do give these people attention in general, but we I don't know their username. I don't, you know, I'm never going to interact with them in my life. You guys are never going to interact with them. So to say I give them quote unquote attention, I would say they make me money. They, they give me views and we all get to have a good laugh about it. And then nobody really pays attention to them unless we kind of see their quote unquote work uh, later on down the line, right? So you know, again, I think some of this stuff will end up happening. I do think, you know, Charlie Cox is going to be Daredevil. I want to believe the Tommy Maguire stuff. I mean, there's definitely people out there saying to be cautious because it's very possible like that, you know, multiverse thing doesn't happen. I think the one that I just recently found said that Wanda was going to be in it, but then she was written out last second or like last minute. I don't think something like that can happen. You don't have a, a pivotal character as big as Wanda in your movie to just say, ah, we'll just write, even if she's in like a cameo, that's still like a big deal to write her out, like right before you start filming, isn't something I think you're going uh, to do. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, there are some things I think are going to happen. There's some things I, I don't think are going to happen. And we just ultimately have to wait. I think when we see the trailer, we can start to put, uh, you know, things together. One final thing though, the Mysterio is a live thing. The, the guy I read, you know, out loud to you guys kind of just threw that out there as like a last, you know, the, he, the last tweet he put, he just did like a, and now, well, I guess the guy who I read, he tweeted what he read from somewhere else. But, you know, Mysterio's Alive was just kind of like a random afterthought. I do actually kind of think he is still alive. Um, the way they handled him in the last movie and just the way that they did it here, or I guess the way they, literally the way they ended him, um, I really don't think they're going to fully be done with him. And that's kind of a, a thing that I've always thought of ever since the ending of the last movie. But let me know, guys, in the comments below, what do you think? Uh, do you believe maybe? And again, like, the guy literally admitted that these were fake, so it, it's it's kind of dumb to ask if you guys think that it's real. But do you think that maybe some of the stuff will actually happen in the, in the movie? Or do you think other things will happen that weren't even mentioned in this leak? Let me know. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you guys have the bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up. Um, you know, if there's funny ones, 
ones like this, I'll give attention to them. If there are like credible ones as we get closer to, you know, around December, uh, you know, I'll obviously be covering those as well. So there will be definitely uh, be plenty more Spider-Man No Way Home content on the channel. Again, Twitter, if you guys haven't uh, followed me there, please, please do. Podcast Now 15 is my Twitter handle. Would love to have you guys over there. Thank you for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. I hope to see you all on the next video.